Back at it again, and we've got to talk about these Democrats once again. Oh, my goodness. Sheesh. They never cease to um, give us all types of content, which I guess is good for me. <laughs> like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you are new. And let's dive in. Now, um, someone has been censured recently. And um, these Democrat politicians, they are shedding all types of tears. They are crying a river over it. And it is hilarious to see. Of a, a lack of care and a lack of understanding and a lack of seeing the humanity of folks who look like Rashida Tlaib. It's outrageous that my colleagues are blatantly, blatantly attempting to silence the only Palestinian American representative right here. Um, it's outrageous, but it's not surprising. And let me tell you, it's not surprising because this place is where 1,700 members of Congress, this elected body, enslaved black people. It's not surprising because they thought it was right. It's not surprising because this is a place where members continue to claim that the insurrection on the Capitol just appeared to look like a normal tourist visit. It's not surprising because this is the place where our black and brown staff members repeatedly speak of experiencing racism and sexism, Islamophobia, get pushed off of elevators, xenophobia and more right here in this workplace. This is the place. And let me say this. She mourns for the 1400 the, the Israelis. Time is expired. She mourns for the 10,000 and she will not stop. No the more. Ladies time no more lives. Cease fire now, and she takes the, the death threat that you all send. That, that they the gentle lady is no longer speaker. recognized. The gentleman from Maryland. To her, to her, the desire to save lives is greater. Gentle, gentleman from Maryland is recognized. That's okay. what I said. We'll, we'll reserve. The gentleman from Maryland reserves. The gentleman from Georgia is recognized. What a joke, right? What an absolute joke. But they called Republicans unprofessional because they were going through a voting process, which, you know, Democrats love to rag about democracy, 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 right? Republicans were going through a voting process to get the correct speaker of the House in position. They called Republicans unprofessional. But yet you got somebody yelling and screaming after the fact that she's been told to be quiet. Yeah. Republicans are unprofessional, though. <laughs> and it gets, I mean, it, it, it gets worse, guys. I mean, just... Check this out. body needs empathy and compassion for all people, not just people that look like the majority of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle. And maybe because of your lack of diversity, you lack the cognitive and emotional ability to recognize diverse opinions when they speak truth to power. And you absolutely need to open up your mind to other people and other experiences, especially when they are Muslim and when they are women and when they are people of color. You had a member of your time party expired. call my colleague a terrorist and you didn't censor her. But we're having this time has expired. Now about your interpretation of words. Members are reminded to direct their comments. Uh, once again, after you've been told to be quiet, you're still up there yelling and screaming. And what makes it worse is this is the same guy who doesn't know what a fire alarm is. Allegedly, of course. You're going to lecture Republicans after you pull the fire alarm because you didn't know what it was. Interesting. Real interesting. And, you know, the fact that they're up there yelling and screaming is just absolutely ridiculous anyway. But, if, you know, of course, there, there's, there's more. Ilhan Omar, ladies and gentlemen. Here you go. What is true here is that every single one of them has not acknowledged the fact that Palestinians are dying in the tens of thousands, but will continue to say it is us. Who are not acknowledging humanity? Rashida will stand strong. Gentle ladies, and time has expired. The movement will continue for liberation until every Gentle single ladies, time has expired. Has the right Ge to gentlemen. live because this is the place. So yeah, once again, yelling and screaming after you've been told to be quiet. You know, it's just a recurring thing with these folks. You know, um, but they say Republicans are unprofessional. <laughs> Democrats are everything that they accuse Republicans of being. 
It's one thing that I've learned, man. It's one thing that I've learned. You know, and this is the person that they are defending. Look, look, look at the way she has acted before. I will say You're an animal. Get a job. That's the person that they're up there yelling and screaming about, right? Talking over folks, you know, going, uh, uh, you know, above and beyond. Uh, <laughs> I mean, just <laughs> and honestly, um, you know, <laughs> it's funny when you got a guy that is yelling and screaming when he don't even know what a fire alarm is, but. You know, let me not make fun of folks. Let me not make fun of folks. And then you got uh, 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 Ilhan Omar, who in the past has said stuff like this. I would say uh, uh, our, our country should be more fearful um, of, of, of white men across our country because they are actually um, causing uh, most of the deaths within this country. I would say white men are causing most of the deaths in this country. Oh. You mean like the white guy that's the leader of your party, Ilhan Omar? Did you forget that he's a white guy? <laughs> but we're supposed to listen to what she has to say. Goodness gracious. Well, this was the end result of all of their yelling and screaming. Check out Mike Johnson here. On this vote, the yeas are 234 and the nays are 188 with four answering present. The resolution is adopted. What? Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. On this vote, the... So, um, yeah. <laughs> Rashida Tlaib has been censured, which, in my humble estimation, don't really mean a whole lot, you know? In, in my eyes, it's just like a little... Don't say that again, okay? You know, it don't really mean a whole lot. So, like... To have these Democrats up there, like, making a whole scene, yelling and screaming, I, just being dramatic, I, I, I feel like it's super ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know, I mean, maybe I'm wrong about the whole censure thing. Maybe there's something about it that I'm not privy to, that I'm not aware of, uh, because I am new to politics, right? But as far as I know, it's just like, oh, yeah, you were wrong. And it's like Congress acknowledging it. Okay. You get it. You, you get a talking to boo-hoo but then you got democrats being super dramatic oh how dare you guys you know you're you're my 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 mainly white colleagues on the other side of the aisle like <sighs> goodness gracious man i mean i guess this this is like i said this is good for me because it gives me more content to bring to you guys but it's just absolutely ridiculous to watch these democrats man and and sit there and they, they do stuff like this, and then they say that Republicans are unprofessional and are, like, the worst people on the planet, but then they... It makes no sense. It makes zero sense at all. I'm just, it's laughable at this point, you know? It's just ridiculous. But, as always, man, y'all let me know your thoughts and your opinions on this in the comment section below. I just wanted to bring this to you guys and show you how ridiculous this, this is, you know? And, and call out these Democrats on their BS because they always say Republicans are unprofessional and yet every single one of them were yelling and screaming after they were told to be quiet after their time had run out goodness gracious peace and love family I'm out